My name is Mark. I was raised in a family that was Lutheran, going to church every Sunday, but I had never felt it in my heart who Jesus was. I had a tendency to get upset a lot when things didn't go my way. I was very sinful in my life. The turning point came while my friend and I were watching a movie called Silent Hill. And there was a part in that movie where the main character had yelled to these pe people in this cult, you're all d damned. And I'm like, I turned to my friend, I'm like, what does that mean? What does it mean if you're damned? And he said, it means that you're condemned to hell. I'm like, wait a minute. I remember my mom telling me about an unforgivable sin. I rushed to find what the unforgivable sin was and I found blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And it, it just so happened that the week afterwards was the week that my friend Mike Meredith had actually invited me to come with him to CEFC. I had brought my concerns about this sin, this unforgivable sin to Pastor Matt, who I connected with right away. And he's like, Mark, it's impossible for a Christian to commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit because blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is failure to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. It was after that I began to put the pieces together, learn who Jesus was, learn the significance of his death on the cross, and it really, and I really started to feel it in my heart. It almost feels as if it happened overnight, that the Holy Spirit entered my heart and I began to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, that all my sins were now forgiven. And I knew that when I felt a tremendous weight come off my shoulders over all I had done, all the people I had gotten upset at or flipped out at, all the bridges I burned, it's like, you know what? That's the old me, I'm putting that in the past. The Holy Spirit is working in me. And just the other day, I found myself upset at, at a person who, who is a friend of mine. The old me would have actually just flipped out and said nasty things that I'd regret. Instead, I, pr I found myself praying for this person. The journey I've taken to come from accepting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior and then putting on my new identity within him and giving up my old self has really come a long way. The reason I wanna get baptized is to basically proclaim to everyone, I am a new me, I am a follower of Christ, and I am putting the old me away.